Now today we are going to solve a question on permutation combination. The question is how many hexagons can be constructed by joining the vertices of quindecagon that is of 15 sides if none of the sides of hexagon are also the sides of quindecagon. So first I am going to draw the quindecagon on the circle. So let's say this is V1, V2, the vertices V3, V4, V5, V6, V7, V8, V9, V10, this is going till let's say V15 here. Now if I join the vertices, I'll get a quindec again. Like this. And so on like this. Okay. Now our question is we have to select out of this 15 vertices, we have to select in 6 in such a way that the sides of hexagon are not the sides of quindecagon. Let's build a logic here. So if I select, let's say I'm selecting six sides of hexagon in which I've selected V1, V2. Now if I ask you, is this possible if I select V1, V2? The moment you select V1, V2, if you join V1, V2, V1, V2 is a side of quindecagon. So this is not possible. Instead of this, if you ask me, can I select V1, V3? Yes, it is possible because V1, V3 is not the side of quindecagon, but it can be a side of hexagon. So this case is possible here. Now meaning is I cannot select two consecutive vertices because out of 15, if the moment I select two consecutive vertices, it will be the side of quindecagon and that is not possible. So our question is in total, we have 15 vertices. Out of that, we have to select six vertices in such a way that no two are consecutive. And they can ask you this question, like 15 people are sitting on a round table, you have to select six in such a way that no two are consecutive. This can be asked in many ways. So this is, we're going to treat the question like this. Now, instead of calculating the six vertices out of 15 vertices on a circle, such a way that no two are consecutive, I'm going to calculate them on a straight line. Now, let's say in order to make them on a straight line, I'm going to break the circle from this point. The moment I break from V1 and V15, they'll come on a straight line like this. V1 v2 until so on v15 all of them will come on a straight line now i'll prefer to work on a straight line now here it will be easy to select six vertices in such a way that no two are consecutive so in total out of 15 vertices i'm going to select first six now remaining vertices are nine nine vertices will generate how many gaps 10 gaps so i'll show you why i'm using the gap method here and i'll show you what is gap method actually so nine vertices are there. Let's say nine vertices are like this right now. I'm not I'm not naming them because I haven't selected them. So let's say they are X 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 now I'll show you why they are generating 10 gaps because 9 will generate 10 gaps here like let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 they are generating 10 gaps now, if I select the gaps, I'll make sure that nothing is repeated. Means no, no two vertices are consecutive here. Repeated, I haven't seen in the sense. Now, let's say out of 10 gaps, I'm selecting six. But on a circle and on a straight line, the cases will be different. And I think you have this question that I'm working on a straight line, how it is same as circle. So it's not same. So I need to subtract some cases where I've selected particular case in which I'll get consecutive vertices. That means let's say I've selected this case and I've selected this case. That means I've selected V1 and V15 on a straight line. They are far apart. But if I select these two particular, then that means I'll get V1 and V15, but on a circle, they are consecutive. So I cannot select this. It's not possible. So I have to delete from this total cases. I have to delete this many cases where I've selected V1, V15 and rest of the three vertices, rest of the four vertices, sorry, because this two I've selected and rest four I can select from any other. So this will hexagons are not accepted here. So let's say I've selected this, this, these two, and let's say randomly I'm selecting, I've selected this one, this one, this one, and this one. So the moment I select the gaps, automatically the vertices will be named. I'll show you why. So first one I've selected, let's say this is V1, this is V2. Now I've not selected the gap that, that means clearly V3 will come here. There will be no V3 on the gap. Because I'm selecting the gaps and immediately the moment I select the gap, rest of the gap will be gone. So I've selected V4 here. This is V5, V6, V7, V8, 
V9, V10, V11, V12, V13 and V14 and the last one I have selected that is V15. So as I as I shown you that I have selected V5, V1 and V15. So V1, V15 the cases with V1, V15 are not acceptable here. So out of 10 first I have selected 6 gaps and I need to subtract where I have selected V1, V15. So number of ways to select V1, V15 is 2C2 multiplied by multiplied by I have to select out of these two uh, remaining 4 are there I have to select remaining 4 from here. So 10 gaps were there I have selected 2 gaps that is remaining is 8 gaps. So out of 8 gaps I have to select 4. So this will be the cases I have deleted where V1 and V15 are there and this is the total number of hexagons in which in such a way that they are selected that no two vertices are consecutive or hexagon sites is not same as quindecagon. So this will be our final answer. Now I'm going to show you a generalization after this. Now I'm going to generalize how to select R people out of N people on a circle in such a way that no two are consecutive. And I'm going to generalize using the previous question also. So let's say out of N people, I'm going to select R people and remaining will generate how many gaps? N minus R plus one. As, you, as, a, as I told you in the previous question that the, this many gaps will be generated. Out of this gaps, if you select R, now I'm doing the working for right now on a straight line. Now this is the working for the straight line. Now there will be a problem if I select first and last. So I have to subtract the cases where I have selected first one and last one like V1 and V15 I have selected in the previous case. So that is 2C2. I'm going to select the endpoints and after selecting the endpoints I have to select the remaining R minus 2 people because 2 I have selected already R minus 2 is remaining. So if you focus on one thing this is the 10 index here and this index is less than this 2, 2 times less than this. So I'm going to uh, reduce here this by 2. So we'll get this as n minus r minus 1. See, I have to select r minus 2 people now because I've selected already 2. So this will be a general formula of selecting r people out of n in such a way that no two are consecutive on a circle. And that'll be all.